let's use the force of Da Vinci and crush this cam like Darth Vader. First, as always, the preparations. Put your camera onto a tripod to have a steady shot and set the focus to manual so you can perfectly focus the can. Then you need two shots, one shot of you pretending to crush the can and the other shot where you squeeze the can step by step. First trim the clip where you pretend like you're crushing it to your length and then take the second clip. Then here when I squeezed it a bit, cut the beginning, then go one frame further, cut it here. Then go to the next step here, then again one frame. And we repeat this like six or seven times until your can is fully crushed. Repeat that process until you have every frame. In my example, it's nine frames. Then the clip from the beginning, drag that one layer above and then go through your timeline. And at this moment where you crush the can, set a marker and then select all the frames, drag it to this marker. Then select the first one where the can is not squeezed. Then select change clip speed and freeze frame and do the same thing with the last one. Change clip speed, freeze frame. So now we can drag these clips to the length we want to have like this. So we have the full can, then we squeeze it and the last frame like this. So we just need to add ourselves in this frame. So we open this one up in the color page select the last node, add new node, add serial and then right click at alpha output and connect the blue line like this. Then with your new node selected go down here to windows and just select a rectangle mask, zoom a bit out and just place the rectangle mask up here so you can cut yourself out but without the can. Just go through the clip and make sure your hand won't get out of this frame and you don't overlap the can. Like this it looks very good, we have enough space here. And like this it looks you are in the same clip, you can do it even in the free version. Then when you play it back it looks something like this. Looks okay for now but we can definitely spice it up a bit. Drag the clip where you mask out yourself one layer above and with the whole clip below create a new compound clip and copy this one to the middle layer and then open this middle one in the fusion page with the media in selected hit shift and spacebar type in magic mask and just mask the can out like so click on better track it back and forth in the free version you can do it in the color page you need to mask out frame by frame manually it's a bit more time consuming but it will work as well the reason why we did this i want to shake the can a bit before it get crushed then from this point on it should like shake until this position where i crush the can and we can animate this with our masked out can so we open it in the fusion page again then with the magic mask selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in camera shake. Then reduce the overall strength to around 0.15. Press enter and go to your marker here. Set here a keyframe on the overall strength. Then go back to the first frame. Reduce the strength all the way down to zero. Then back on the marker, go one frame further, just one. And reduce it back to zero and put the speed all the way up to one. Then open up your splines up here on spline, click on this little icon, zoom to fit, and your curve should look like this. Your shake starts from zero all the way up to 0.15 and one frame further it's down to zero because here our can gets crushed and I don't want the shake effect there to happen. I just want to build up some tension with, with the shake. Now we just need to adjust the curve so we select this first frame, press S and drag it over here. Then select this one up here and take this curve down like so. So it starts very slow and then it shakes very hard and it stops. Then go over here to settings and down here motion blur, quality and shutter angle all the way up. Back to the edit page, your animation will look like this. And to spice it up even more, go here, select an adjustment clip, 
put it on top of everything and then on the first frame set a keyframe on zoom then go eight frames further and zoom in a little bit like this and to smoothen this you can right click on the keyframe ease in go back to the first one right click ease out so we have a smooth zoom in like this or we want to have it right before we crush the can so around here then select another adjustment clip put it on top then go here to open effects in the search bar type in vignette put the vignette on top turn the size all the way up and let it fade in like this and then your animation should look like this. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.